Congratulations, and thank you for your incredible creative contributions to the city of Albuquerque. There are eight awardees this year. Visual arts, music, creative entrepreneurship, media arts, mosaic arts, public arts, muralists, all of which are represented this year. We've got young artists from 23 years old to artists who have been creating for many decades. Mentorship, generosity, collaboration, and community run through the work of all of these incredible creative individuals and organizations. Albuquerque's art scene is vibrant, growing and attracting more and more energy to our city. And Albuquerque artists and creatives are important contributors to our city's past, present, and future. Congratulations to the Albuquerque Poet Laureate Program on their Creative Bravos Award. Ten years ago, a group of local poets began building the Albuquerque Poet Laureate position, and since then, they have facilitated the selection and community work of five incredible Albuquerque Poets Laureate. Each of these honors and serves our diverse community, elevates the importance of the art form, and shares poetry with Albuquerque residents. The Poets Laureate have a very public role and receive well-deserved attention and support, but this Bravos Award honors and recognizes the all-volunteer organizing committee behind the scenes, elevating poetry and poets in our city. Tanisha Hale-Jones, Mindy Grossberg, Don MacGyver, Valerie Martinez, and Liza Wolf Francis, and others along the way have organized and sustained this program as a grassroots initiative. Albuquerque's Poet Laureate program is a labor of love, all for the love of poetry and for Albuquerque. Cities were naming poet laureates and states were naming poet laureates and we did not want to be out of that. Don't you think everybody? We were aware that there was this movement toward that and we thought, well, Albuquerque has to have a poet laureate because we have such an incredibly vibrant and diverse poetry community. And then I'll add on to that because I, I was just talking about that was part of my excitement is to really make sure we had a large range of um, community involvement as far as um, getting into many different parts of the community of Albuquerque so that um, poets were accessing different um, communities, different communities can access the poet. And I think we really embedded a lot of um, the, the community in the poet laureate program. So it's, yes, we wanted an excellent poet and we wanted someone that we knew was truly committed to this amazing and diverse community that we have here in, in Albuquerque. Yeah, I'll add that um, I was on the selection committee before I joined the organizing committee and I think that the, the selection committee also is very representative of the community of Albuquerque and it's and we are intentional about making sure that it's a really diverse group of of humans that show up to choose this person. Um, and I hope Val will talk about our selection process a little bit, because it's really unique. Um, and I think even that is speaks to this, like this commitment to being um, in community and in relationship with one another and listening and being um, intentional about how we are um, bringing a poet into community to, to gather and to share and to create, create art that is, has a really lasting impact. We didn't necessarily want it to be the same people picking the laureate every time. We wanted to create kind of this twofold process of us creating a program, but then the program having its own kind of mechanism for creating the people that would ultimately make the decision. I just helped create the program and the community decides through the selection committee who that is. And I think that's really important because it, you know, I think we all have our biases. So it was a one way to kind of uh, protect against personal bias from our part. 
you know, oh, I know this person and they're great. And I know that person and they're great too. And this person. And so you're suddenly with this dilemma of like, well, they all could be the poet laureate. That's great. And you feel a little bit of relief that it's not just up to you. It's a consensus decision. And the group, the selection committee comes up with, you know, who they, you know, decide again, it's a relief to not have to be like, who am I going to pick out of all these great people, especially if you know them from the poetry community. And that's wonderful about our community that we, we often do know, know people who are in it, right? The thing about poetry is there's joyful poetry, there's sorrowful poetry, there's poetry of crisis, there's poetry of, there's every kind. And so in times like this, I just need to open a book on my shelves to, to either reflect the anguish that I feel or the anger or to just become a balm to my heart and soul in a really hard time. I think for me, it's like a, a dialogue with, you know, yourself, with your, you know, fellow, with your neighbor, with your friend, with, your, with the community, with, you know, anyone, with your feelings. It's just this ongoing dialogue of this is how I'm doing in the world. And, you know, I can express that through poetry. And maybe I read a poet, a poem that someone else writes, and I feel heard or seen or that they, you know, are experiencing the exact same thing, even if it's not maybe the exact same thing, but I would maybe experience it that way. It's that ongoing kind of seeing and being seen and being heard and hearing. It matters to me because it's a way to, um, a way to understand and I agree with Valerie and Liza you know it is a balm and it is a dialogue and it's like this way that I make sense of the world and that the world makes sense to me when you when you have that opportunity to sink into a poem especially one that comes to you at the right moment it just maybe just for that moment in time you feel aligned and you also feel to me it's very enlivening and connecting I think it's about that communication um, it's about that kind of, when you read a poem, to me, it's like it, it, it's it read and hear a poem. Generally, it's this authenticity that you're hearing because you're reading, you're reading like the thoughts in someone's head, you know, and if it's, it's like you're, you're communing with them. For me, it's almost everything that we've talked about is we really have done this together. And so I guess I'm really honored or it's, it's weird to say I I, I mean, I, I would say we feel really honored, but I don't want to speak for everybody. But this is this is a thing that we've made together. I, I like the fact that this is recognizing the organizing committee and the work with, the work that we've done to to create and sustain the program, because so much of the work we do is supporting the poet laureate. I think it's so cool that this group of us won an award, and that that it's not about one individual, which is also for me what poetry is I mean I know like you write it by yourself but you're like thinking about the world and you're thinking about human experience which is about a shared it's like this shared it's a shared humanity right that that is unique in its iteration but um we couldn't yeah we couldn't do it by ourselves and I think it's yeah, it speaks to what I think the world needs, which is more collectivity and more consensus and more coming together as community. So getting the award is is just, it, it's just like, you know, just someone coming over and being like, I see you. Like, <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, not, not that we, we need that, but it's really lovely and I really, really appreciate it. Speaking of the collectivity, it's an interesting thing to, get an award for a program that is a collective bunch that supports at one time, one person to be the like ambassador for poetry for Albuquerque. And so it's like, you know, supporting a group to support the one person to support the entire group, uh, which is which would be Albuquerque, just to be having more poetry and exposure to poetry and enjoying poetry and and just living the poet life, right? So it's it's really cool, and I think it's an honor, absolutely, to receive the award as a group.